to Storpy. We've got a treat for you today. It's called Perception, and it was... Uh, there's the braille for it up in the top left. You can't see that yet. There you go. Um, she's looking at me. Look at that. She's actually looking at me going, Oh, oh. It's okay, love. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The moths are just on your face. Don't worry about it. They're not eating you. They're not dangerous. They're lovely. Moths are lovely. So we're playing Perception, or we're watching Perception. A nice fella called The Pacific Rim Job um, recorded this footage for me. It's in four chapters. I've got the first chapter here. It's going to be an hour long, so I'm going to do it in two parts. And uh, yeah, we're streaming as usual, but uh, I can't see the chat. So it's just going to be me and Perception. Should we get on with it? Um, I think so. Uh, it was Rim Job's first... Oh, I've got to call him something else. Pacific. It was Pacific's first time playing this, so um, there might be a bit of wondering about, but that's absolutely fine. There are supposed to be audio tapes in the game, um, and there are subtitles, which is awesome, because I love having subtitles on. And here we go. Uh, it should be a bit scary, but also a bit more story than quite a lot of the stuff I've been reacting to lately, so hopefully it'll be good. Here we go. Perception. Welcome. Inspired by true events. When All you're right. blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. Inspired by noisy events. You learn who to trust. Creepy Cassie. No. <laughs> Cassie. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now. What's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. Oh! It's a coffee mug! Right. Nice. Excellent. Oh, so we use our cane to see. Outside. It does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. Ugh, nightmares? I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Oh, this is a really cool concept. I played a game like this called Lurking. Um quite a while ago. I'd forgotten the name until this morning. Pacific actually reminded me what it was called. But it's, uh, yeah. It was a good concept, but this looks like it's exploring it a bit more. So I can hear everything that's sound if people don't get what's going on. It's echolocation. Hello? Yes, I'm on my way. Just stay put. Listen, I need to do this. You said it. I'm at the door. <laughs> well, I hope Sergei is in the house. Oh, that's a loud, echoey, horrible noise, that. What if we're walking across jelly or something? It's not going to work. Can't bash our cane on jelly. This is a good introduction, actually. It's not horrible and scary. It's just... Well, it's not unscary, because we're walking into blackness every few seconds. We're going to have to get used to that. But it's nice to sort of walk around and try out the, the mechanic and stuff. And our footsteps work as well, look. Each time we take a step, it, it shows up a little bit of what's in front of us. You've got to have a good memory, surely, as this, as Cassie. Creepy Cassie. Hello? I know nobody's there, but... That was ominous. I'm just doing my due diligence. Oh no, Sergo doesn't live there, then. Sergo was somewhere else saying, don't go there yet. Hello? Oh, man. Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Chapter one. Chapter one. <laughs> the rope. Sorry, I'm going to have to try and calm down. I can't be jumping at stuff like that the whole time. 
moving out or moving in? Probably Nobody's supposed to be here. Out? It's fine, no one is here. I can guarantee. Masses of boxes. And for anyone who hasn't seen me doing this before, I'm watching one of my viewers... Oh! One of my own viewers' recordings. Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. Because my hands my are dreams, knackered. I always see a rope. Cassie! A ticket, an apple, and an axe. Oh, she's been having dreams. Maybe start there? Oh! <sighs> I hate, hate, hate fire. Cassie the Hound. Yeah, so my, my wrists are bad, my hands are bad. Um, RSI from work. Um, and viewers have very, very kindly offered to record stuff me to react to so that's why i'm not playing just watching hopefully it's something i can change in the next year or two but we'll see that's the disclaimer out of the way let's get back to this what were we after we're after a rope an apple a tic tac and a something else from our dreams dearest richard happy anniversary my love what a perfect way to begin our 10th year together new house new baby on the way I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. Ten years together, what Felicia. What was that? A memory? Oh, no. Oh, God, there's someone walking around there. Well, we didn't see them, we just saw where their steps were. It sounded like it came in through the window because it had squelchy steps. Tape recorder. Felicia's pregnancy suits her. She glows. She walks around holding her tummy. Sometimes she just smiles for no reason. I was worried about the solitude of this place, but I think the impending addition is going to be her whole world. Until then, I just need to keep a batch of chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. <laughs> it says the doctor. Just a wives tale. Okay. So is that her doctor, or is that her husband, who is a doctor? Oh, I like how the... Landmarks and memories appear in green. I like how the uh, different objects make different sounds. Yeah, that's just what Pacific's demonstrating there. Taka 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 taka. What was that? Sounded like a growl. Use sixth sense for next goal. Oh gosh. So pressing control shows us our next goal and we sort of have a sixth sense through the walls and stuff. Is my understanding currently? Hello? Oh, can you imagine? Being blind like this though. Not ever being able to see what's going on! Hello? Not good at all. Oh god, it's really ghosty, isn't it? I thought it was just going to be people. But it seems like ghosties. Something didn't want us going through there. We got knocked over. I'm scared to go. 
Oh, we can see them. But She's I tapping her foot. I feel really sorry for Cassie. She sounds really <sighs> genuine and nice. I wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. <laughs> what brought that back? Probably this mobile spinning round. Big comfy teddy with a hollow thud. So green shows landmarks and memories, right? For my dreams, what the hell does it mean? All right, so we do have paranormal going on. Damn. Guess I still have some digging around to do. I was hoping we didn't have. I wish I left that one buried in the backyard. Oh my goodness! Ooh. I've always loved this agate's healing properties, but last week when I had a stomach ache. I went to touch it, and it was hot. The stone wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater, and the stones around it were cool to the touch. What really worries me is that it's a protection stone. I'm not wanting to disparage your beliefs or anything, but in my opinion, it's a stone. They don't heal, they're just stones. What the pregnancy manuals don't prepare you for is that first kick. It feels like you swallowed a big fat goldfish and it's flopping around in your stomach. <laughs> Maybe we'll name her Goldie. <laughs> okay, so we've got a pregnant... A pregnant Felicia. Possibly a husband who's a doctor, or possibly just a doctor. Her doctor. That's evidenced by the fact that there's a baby's room with stuff ready for baby. Tossing and turning and tossing and turning. I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. Foreshadowing. This baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It must be very excited. I hope. Hmm. So we don't know. No need to hide. Uh, so we don't know Felicia then, by the sound of it. I keep finding these little things in the strangest places around the house. The last one I threw over the side of the cliff because it made me feel dizzy when I touched it. But here it is. The same one with the unstitched eye back under our bed. And it's a little soggy. Ugh. So she's very perceptive then, Felicia. She seems to pick up on stuff from having objects like the stone, um, that doll. I mean, obviously we're very perceptive because we've got this sixth sense, but it seems she shared it as well, or those objects are possessed in some way. Oh God, that's gonna, we're gonna have to use that to cover our tracks, aren't we? Hide in the dark. Because, of course, whatever else is in here with us, this presence can probably see us. That looks like a casket. Don't open it. Thank goodness. No need to hide. I hope it's always going to say that. <laughs> no need to hide. Just don't worry about it. It's all fine. Pinch yourself. Outsiders. I know what you mean. There's a sort of paranoia in the air. A collective nervousness all the folks share. They're a jittery sort that could use a downer here or there. <laughs> I wonder if it's due to the town's fishing village nature. A sort of impermanence. 
confidence that comes with working in the sea. An odd place, but not entirely unpleasant, just charged. That or they didn't like this house's previous owners. <laughs> okay, so Dr. Briar is, I think, married to Felicia. <laughs> Felicia. And they've just moved here. Hence all of the boxes and stuff. And she's pregnant and receptive. Cool. I think we're keep keeping up with what's going on here. I'm really intrigued with this. Normally I'm not bothered about stories, but... Ah, oh, no, I'm not bothered about stories. I don't care any longer. Let's not go down here, shall we, Pacific? Rim job. I can't call you Pacific, it sounds weird. I can't call you Rim job. Because the advertisers all get upset. I'll call you Rim. That's better. Rimmy. Ooh, those are in the picture of an arrow, the shape of an arrow. It was the tree in my dreams and I just forgot. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Yeah, you didn't mention the tree, Who's either. here? Someone's being sick. Morning, morning sickness? Could it be Felicia? We should be able to see the uh, the sound waves coming out. Oh, yeah, there you go. Actual ghost. But what happened to her? Oh, that sounds so realistic. Uh, honey, can you grab the pills you prescribed me for morning sickness? Yeah. He's the doctor. I left my purse in the car. He's the doctor. He's the husband. Yeah, sure. I'll grab him. Jesus. <laughs> Every time the lights go off, I forget that it's just us not walking round. Keep thinking it's the lights going off and something's going to happen. Oh. Are you on edge? I'm kind of on edge. Ah! Ah! Oh, at least it was crawling down into the mud, whatever the hell that was. No, we're not. Shift to run. It's never a good sign when you see that. What's that? What the hell is that up there? Oh, it's an owl! Oh! Oh, I like that. That's fine. Oh, I thought it was some weird, creepy ghost or something. That's our sixth sense showing off that uh, thing in the car. Oh! It's another owl. That's fine. I like owls, really. <clears throat> what was it doing in the damn car? Scan with Delphi. Delphi. Text to speech. Gotcha. Patient. Briar. Felicia. 20 milligrams fluke sodine. Tabs. Instructions. Take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? Is that not a normal thing? If, if you're a doctor, you could be your own wife's doctor. Didn't realise that was... I suppose that could be frowned upon, couldn't it? Shovel. Richard makes fun of me for it, but I hate the dirt here. There are no worms, for goodness sake. Oh, no wonder my little seedlings aren't taking root. Aww. Tomorrow I'll head down to a bait shop and see if some night crawlers do the trick. No worms in the soil. This place is screwed, isn't it? You can tell there's something off with this place and this house. So we've seen Felicia's ghost. And we're sensing her memories. Is that our phone? New so text good. message from Surge. Hey, Surge. Board, what's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. 
And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. I wonder if one of the game's developers or... This place feels... different. One of the developer's family members is blind. Feels different, it looks different. Don't remember any of this. Because people are funny about this place, aren't they, the locals? As he was just saying. Alternates with death. And dead matter, the rest of life must not be left to take. Careful, you'll smash something. Nature has her We're not examining it? Did we just pick it up? It disappear? Strange. What's that TV talking about? Creatures and all that? Oh. Terrifying mandibles. No, not terrifying mandibles. For goodness sake, you don't want to be listening to that when you're exploring a dark house by yourself with no, no vision. That thing was in the garage again. Uh. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. What thing? The presence that we've seen a couple of times? Was that the presence going down into the ground? Oh, there was that horrible corpse thing going down into the ground. Maybe that suggests there's stuff in the ground and that's why the worms aren't there, etc. Etc. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. Oh, bless her, she thought the ghost thought we were the husband. Did you smash that, or was that something else? I... Oh, it's us. <laughs> you clumsy sod. Oh, darkness, darkness, darkness. Stay by the fire, it's nice and light and warm here. And obviously, not that being light gives much to us. Delphi, text to speech. Nancy Chang's Chinese cuisine. Sounds good. Surprised they didn't put anything on the menu, but at least they put the name, huh? Why are we able to hide? Normally it tells us there's no need. Oh, I don't like that. I heard whispering. Did you not hear the whispering, Rim? It's coming from here. Oh! The house is listening. 
man or the insect. Nature's most creatures representing nine-tenths of all forms of life. Oh gosh, the sound in this is excellent. It's terrifying mandibles. Terrifying mandibles again. Nothing. Oh! oh. They are utterly ruthless and lust to destroy. And gorged to their heart's content. It's right on the other side of the door. The laws of nature are inexorable. The house is listening. Maybe it's just the house itself. Maybe there isn't actually a thing. Too much noise may attract enemies. I'm so glad that tapping isn't making me jump. Okay, the TV's screwed. Oh man, I don't know if I can handle a whole hour of this. What the hell does a rope, a ticket, and a goddamn apple have to do with anything? There's something else as Why well, that? isn't there? Why those items? Rope, a ticket, and an apple. We found the rope and then the presents told us off. So he's dosing her and really referring to her as the patient. It's giving him a lot of stuff as well. God, what was that? Animal noise. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Yes. Moving forward with a combination of monoamine, oxidase inhibitors and tricyclic antidepressants. Well, we heard her vomiting and we heard her being hysterical in inverted commas. What would Dr. Breyer use for a code? Something important to him? One, two, three, four. Absolute guarantee. Yeah, so... Maybe he's been thinking that she's hysterical, rather than... Rather than actually seeing ghosts or whatever. Because that's probably what it was. Oh, if anything... Ah, just be crouching in the darkness! Oh, and it's a little creepy animated doll. Oh, man. I suddenly don't feel so good. The patient is taken to seclusion and doesn't seem to understand her surroundings. This, I think, may be for the best. I will monitor this situation closely before making any more hasty decisions after last time. Still, she needs her medicine and she leaves her pills on her tray each night. She doesn't understand that she needs to get well for herself and for the baby. Bloody hell, that was loud. I must take matters into my own hands for both their sakes. Mm. Matters into my own hands? That's not alpha male or anything. <laughs> Yeah, he's starting to sound a little bit more and more like a dick, this doctor. <clears throat> Dictor. Oh! I just want to look at the planetarium. Thank you. You sound like bats. Flickering around the room. Fluttering, not flickering. <laughs> Don't want any flickering in this game, thank you very much. We've had enough of that recently. I really want a decent telescope. That'd be so cool. He's got two. Give me one. Ooh, this could have the code. Delphi. Text to speech. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC2118. A fave, to be sure, <laughs> but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. I see two one one eight. Ah, two one one eight. I wonder if two one one eight would work. 
Excellent. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. It's funny having that female voice. I keep thinking that is Felicia talking, but it's not. It's him. Two double one eight. Let's try that code. This is doing a very good job of leading you round a seemingly non-linear. Ah, non-linear. Sleep with us, Danny. I mean, that was interesting. Running, running, running at it, not running away from it. Oh my God, what is that? Don't tap whatever you do. Don't do that. So it comes to where it heard the sound last, okay. Oh man. How the hell are we going to get past this? I can't hear our footsteps. Presumably when we're just crouched? Fingers crossed anyway. Oh, it's all gone blue again. That must mean good things. Let's drop this a sec. How do I drop it? Uh, that's that button. Smash!